everyone and welcome to another episode of Dog Craft. My name is Stacy and I am joined as always by the Minecraft versions of my real life pets, Paige, Molly, Polly, and Milktoast. None of which decided to join me on the balcony for the intro page. You're walking kind of slow. She is getting older. Pay. Oh, <laughs> look at Milk Toast pushing Paige down the stairs. Oh, and now Molly's in on it too. It's a pile up. Ah, anyway, it is good to be here in Dogcraft with you today. I wonder when. I'm trying to think when the first time I ever came out on the balcony in an episode of Dogcraft was. Hello, this is Stacy, and welcome to another episode of Dogcraft. Uh, today we are going to be going on a small adventure with Wink. So much has changed in Dogcraft since then? That is crazy. Uh, but today is a very exciting day because we are checking off something that I have wanted to do in Dogcraft for a very long time, which is we have completely fenced in our world. Oh, hello, Bluebird. Good morning. We've completely fenced it in. It's taken me a really long time because it's actually not that exciting of a project. It's just placing fences. So I haven't done, I haven't, I've just done it over time. But everything is now secure, which is kind of a big deal. Oh, hello, hello, um, Cardinal. Uh, anyway, sit down, milk toast. It's kind of a big deal because I don't know if you remember this, but I used to be always really, really scared of opening my front door in Dogcraft. Uh, I used to have, uh, that's why I have a door here, and I used to have a gate right here before the door because I was always scared that my dogs or like my Dalmatians or someone was going to get out of my house, and then I was going to have to drop everything, run, look for them. I was going to have to find them before they just took off, you know, through the world. Uh, but now that's not a problem. I mean, I would still go and look for them <laughs> if they got out, but I don't have to panic is what I'm saying because literally everywhere uh, there is a fence. And oh, oh, Everest, what are you doing out here? <laughs> you can come with me. Anyway, everything is fenced off, which is super exciting. Uh, let's go ahead and go through the art gallery and take a look at some of the art that we have received since the last episode. So I got this really adorable drawing of Dogcraft 300. I think it's alluding to the fact that we're letting all the dogs loose. And this is Ninja from the Nether. Uh, I did tell a story recently about Ninja. He sadly died in the Nether. Uh, oh gosh, a long time ago. Uh, okay, let's Let's go ahead and go downstairs and choose a wolf to accompany us on our adventure today and drop off Everest. Uh, come on, boy, uh, here in Wolf Castle. Okay, so let's see. Let's use the dog decider, and it's going to be Basil. All right, Basil, put your little paper there, sit you up, sit you down, Everest, and... Um, yeah, I should feed you guys. I'll feed you. There you go, Wink. There you go, Addy. There you go, Noah. Tucker. Oh, you guys, when did I first get you? Guys, we're home. All right, so you are going to be named Everest. And you are going to be Noah. You are going to be Wink. Your name is going to actually be uh, Basil. And you are going to be Tucker. All right, I will catch up with you guys in a little while, except for Basil, you can come with me. Let's come this way, actually, uh, because I wanna go straight up into the bark and the Quonset. Uh, now, we still have gates here, obviously, uh, because I still need like a little bit of, you know, structure in the world of Dogcraft. Uh, now, the thing of it is, is that we have a lot of lighting up to do, because if, you, <laughs> if you've seen the series, we have a bit of a creeper problem. Uh, the creepers are constantly bothering me. And so, yes, everything is fenced in. All of the dogs can't escape. But I'm pretty sure that the world is not lit up enough so that things will spawn inside the fence. And I want to kind of work on that. Uh, oh, you guys are all sitting down. Uh, hello. Oh, oh balloons. <gasps> Dog guard. Oh, it's so festive. It's a celebration. Uh, yeah, it's definitely... Hello? What in the world? We have a zombie. We have a zombie pigman here 
in Dogcraft. That might be a first. Where did you come from? From obviously from the nether portal. You must have come from the nether portal over by the dog shelter. That is so weird. I don't think we've ever had a zombie pigman here in Dogcraft. Well, we had the zombie pigman jockey for a while, so that's not true. No one hit a zombie pigman. Okay, guys? Oh, he's leaving. Um, yeah, we had a zombie pigman jockey. And actually, you know, we had that. Yeah, we had that um, nether portal that used to be underground a really, really long time ago um, over by the mines. Well, anyway, welcome to our world, sir. Um, but feel free to despawn at any time uh, that you that you feel like it. <laughs> you know what? Where did Basil go? Basil? She didn't follow me out here, I don't think. Oh, I bet she's still set to wandering. Um, so I need to go and change that. But actually, actually, not a problem if she is set to wandering because we now have a fence. I don't know if you guys remember when Tucker ran away and it took me like several hours to find him. Yep, you were set to wandering, Basil. I knew something was wrong because Basil has no trouble keeping up with me. She is by far my fastest wolf. And if you haven't been watching Dogcraft long enough to know why she's the fastest wolf, she was actually struck by lightning and survived it before I gave her any of her like special abilities or turned her into a doggy talents wolf so I actually should show that <coughs> <coughs> what the no what why what just happened uh where's my water bucket water bucket oh my gosh who are you basil and tucker did you guys run out of food or something so that is why she has super speed for some reason. I think she's also immune to fire now too. Is that right, Basil? And she sets things on fire. Anyway, um, so I mean, Basil aside, the thing of it is, is that these dogs in here are actually insanely protective, like to the level or beyond the level of my wolf pack when I'm attacked by something. So like if a spider hits me or a skeleton shoots me or a zombie hits me, these dogs go crazy and they have died before. I've lost dogs before. So I want to be really, really careful to add more lights to my world because I'm concerned that if I'm ever out at night that something could happen where all of a sudden I have like a bunch of dogs defending me and it gets out of hand so we need to add a lot more light um okay let's come in and sit all of these guys up oh little pixel and tails and uh celeste all right you guys can all sit up too and go play huckleberry and sandy oh my gosh all of my little toy breeds now there's still some purebreds that we need to get as well um but there's a lot of mixed breeds over in the shelter that we can go rescue and then we can do like expeditions still to get the purebreds that we're missing. Um, okay, that should be all of you guys. Uh, you are now free to play around. Oh my gosh, the Pikmin zombie is back. That's creepy. Oh my goodness. Um, Dog guard, you... Do you know what? I actually don't know what iron columns do with zombie pigmen, and I don't really want to find out. So, you know what, dog guard? I know that we just, like, let all the dogs loose, but you maybe, maybe you should come in here, actually. No, 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 not that way. Uh, no, 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 no. Oh, he's trying to go to him. Um, come back in here. Yep, come back in here. Yeah, that's right, dog guard. I've made your job totally easier, but I can't take any risks with you attacking a zombie pigman. I've had you for too long in this world. I actually don't even remember when I, I must have made you at some point. Okay, this is the moment we are making an iron golem. Um, and place. Place. <gasps> Hello? Hi? Um, welcome to Dogcraft, mister? I don't have a name for you yet. I'm sorry, I should have thought of that, but hi all right dog guard why don't you watch the little dogs i forgot my lead um while i do some of like the lighting projects and stuff and we'll let all those guys loose baby steps baby steps we're just letting out the big dogs um okay now basil you are set to look how happy they are they're so happy you guys oh that warms my heart yeah come out here and play rufus the world is yours now to play in um just be careful because it is nighttime now and things are gonna spawn um so 
Basil is set to aggressive, I believe, which means she will attack anything that attacks me or anything that I attack. Basil, 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 basil. No, no, no. Okay, yeah, just make friends. Make friends with the zombie pigmen. <laughs> no big deal. Um, anyway, um, yeah, I think that we should be fine. He'll despawn probably between episodes. I'm curious now, actually, if we do even have another portal down here still. I'm pretty sure I destroyed it. In order to make the portal that comes up at the right place. Oh, there's my there's my mob spawner with a oh a baby zombie dying. <laughs> I don't care about that. Um. Oh, yep, it's gone. All right, let's go back up to the basil. What are you? Oh, 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 the staircase up. Oh, good memories, Bays. All right, I'm gonna take the ladder though because it gets me closer to where I want to go, which is the dog shelter. Um, I think that staircase comes up kind of by one of the ponds. Anyway, uh, so yeah, so much has changed in Dogcraft, and I am doing something today that I'm so excited about. I'm going to the shelter, and I'm rescuing my second dog from the shelter, uh, which is kind of like a new thing that we're doing, sort of like how we used to do the Dalmatian plantation back in episodes 1 through 100. Basil? What are you looking at? You're staring at the wall. Is there something, is there something in the doggy hotel that I should be concerned about? No. I don't see anything, girl. Hello? There's no one in here. There's a chicken in here, Basil. Are you, were you concerned about this chicken? All right, you can, you can hang out with the chicken. Uh, anyway, so we are going to go back. Oh, there's some mobs over there. Let's get ready. Uh, so in episodes like 1 through 100 of Dograph, we always bred a Dalmatian and named 101 Dalmatians. Now, see, this lamppost is the problem because, see, this one, this one is on, and so nothing is spawned around it. But that lamppost over there did not turn on for some reason, and so there's like, Two creepers, a zombie, and three skeletons, which is problematic. So let's take some of these out. Um, anyway, so now what we are doing in episode 300 and onwards, uh, well, we started in episode 299, is we are rescuing dogs from the shelter that Ezra has so graciously stocked for us uh, from the rest of the world using the nether tunnel system. Uh, where'd Basil go? I thought she'd be killing all of these zombies for me. Um, but she's not. Uh, okay, let me just take out this guy. Um, that one more should do it. Okay, I think, Basil, I think we can handle one skeleton and one creeper. So I will, oh, yep, I, I can, definitely. But yeah, see, the lighting is an issue. Um, and how are we going to do lighting over ice? Because I don't want the ice to melt. Hmm, that's going to be interesting. I wonder if the lampposts give off heat. They might not. Basil, are you hungry or something, girl? I don't know why you're not coming to me. No, you're fine. Oh, I need to show you guys what I did with the poodles. I took off the staircase and I did something else. Puddle has already come down here. Here you can sit up, Puzzle and Azure. Ah! Oh! Oh! Thank you guys. Thank you. Anyway, so a lot of you guys said that the staircase was problematic for if I had the dogs loose because they could go up it and they could take fall damage. Um, so I've built something uh, a little bit different. This is the new, I don't know what to call it really, the poodle uh, pathway. I'm not sure. But because there's two ladders on either side, there's literally no way to fall in this tunnel. So if I, if I let me let me show you guys. I can basically push a poodle. Uh, the poodle pusher it's totally the poodle pusher um okay so i can take sienna oh okay i guess sienna wants to stay uh goldie you come over here and i will show you guys how the poodle pusher works so i bring it over oh 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 i didn't sit her up okay well safe travels goldie uh but basically you can see that they don't fall when the ladders are placed that way which i've actually never even um thought of in minecraft it's kind of cool uh I've, i should do that in more places anyway you guys are free to go down i'm not sure if you can get back up but this is your hangout so hopefully you can but but you can come down you can check into the hotel you can go get a haircut at sugar's salon you can do whatever you want um oh skeleton just fell from up there let me shoot him um oh gosh azure no oh oh no 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 oh okay thank you very much See, it's actually, it's it's handy having them all around, but I just need to be very careful about it. I should sleep. I should sleep because I sort of have this hunch that a dog dying might kind of not be the greatest way to celebrate episode 300 of Dogcraft. What do you think, Basil? 
So this pond is now just one block deep and it is contained and has lily pads on it. Uh, there shouldn't be any holes in the ice anywhere. I'm pretty sure it's cold enough now. The biggest thing really was fencing off the area behind the Dogcraft Visitor Center. So um, because I wanted to do it multiple blocks high in some places, even though the dogs can't get out if the fence is just one block high, there are places on the other side of the fence where someone like you, uh, Gold Zombie, is, uh, is able to jump into Dogcraft. Actually... Now that I think about it, how did the zombie pigmen then get inside of Dogcraft? Because the nether portal is on the other side of the fence. So he would have had to have come out here. And then how would he have gotten in? Unless he actually went through the shelter, but that's crazy. Because I don't, I don't even have pressure plates on the shelter door. How did he... Huh. That's slightly problematic. Um, okay, so this is my first rescue dog, Tori, who is a liver-spotted Dalmatian. And I named her for a subscriber. That's what I'm going to do every episode now going forward. And Tori, you're free to run around. Let's go say hi to Ezra. He's, he's not here. Okay, that's fine. Um, I don't know where he went. But, which dog- wait, Tori, you're not supposed to come back in the shelter, Tori. I have rescued you. Go back out. Be free. Uh, so which shelter dog should we get this time? Oh, I want them all. Look at all of these adorable mixed breed dogs. They're so cute, you little mutts. Oh my goodness, you're just so tiny. Oh, you guys need food, too. <gasps> what? You are new! You were in the pen that I rescued Tori from! That- He's restocking them with new dogs! Oh, look at those! They kind of go together. It's a Great Dane and a French Bulldog, but they sort of look like they were- Who is your mom? I want to know. Uh, anyway, that is so cute, and that's crazy. So he's restocking them. I think I am going to adopt this dog today, and I still don't have- my silk touch pickaxe do i um actually oh, i don't even need a sign because i'm just gonna use the sign uh from up here oh my goodness this is definitely reminding me of dogcraft episode one through 101 where we reuse the signs uh so tori this is going to be Nelly, and I am naming Nelly after this viewer who sent me a picture of his dog that actually looks just like Nelly. I think that's so cool. So obviously, Nelly, you are now in Dogcraft. Um, if I if I tame you, which I oh Ezra is gonna hate me. I just keep having to break the glass, um, and he just has to replace it. Okay, so there you go. Oh wait, wait. Okay, you are stubborn. <laughs> just kidding. You're Nelly. And you have been rescued. Welcome to Dogcraft. <laughs> uh, okay, so, um, you can, do you need food? Are you stuck? Are you hurt? All the dogs are like a little bit scared. I would be scared too if I was in a shelter. I wonder where Ezra went if he, unless, <gasps> I bet I know where he went. Um, okay, Basil, I'll be back, girl. I'm going to the nether to spy on Ezra. <gasps> What? 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 Where am I? Oh my gosh. Ezra? What is going on here? This is completely different than the last time I was here. This is... There's dogs in minecarts. What is happening? Where are these dogs going? What is... Ezra, start talking. Oh my gosh, there's a... Oh my gosh! What is this? What are you doing? Why are you... You're looking out at the nether. Oh my gosh, there's a ghast. Is this safe, Ezra? Can they see through glass? Or did you... Did you raid a nether fortress to get these blocks? I mean, I don't care if you destroy a nether fortress. <laughs> the, the people that live in the nether fortress might care, but I don't care, Ezra. This is crazy that you built all of this. This is how you get all the dogs from different biomes to dog craft? This is amazing. I love this, actually. I, I am a little scared of the ghast. I'm not gonna lie, but if we're all contained in here, this is actually genius. I never ever thought of even building something in the nether. And look, these are my... So this is like the original one, but you've broken off. Okay, to the mesa. 
to the mega taiga that used to all just be in one tunnel and then to the jungle yeah so oh, ezra i love this so much i never would have thought to build something bigger in the nether thank you ezra i actually like love this and i want to help you finish it and complete it i'm just it's like a little waiting room here i'm slightly concerned about the ghasts but it seems like you're totally fine um and you know it'd be really oh where'd you go where, where are, you, are you going to the mega taiga ezra ezra okay you have fun at the mega taiga i want to make like actual portal doors for these hallways i think that that would be so cool if the door matched the biome that it led to so there'd be like a you know a mesa door with like the stripes or like the ice spike store would have ice and we could like build something um that kind of went to each of the biomes and then of course there's room to like add on if we go somewhere else then whatever biome that is we'll build a door for for that Okay, so I just need to go and get my supplies, I suppose, to, to build things from. And we also need to, like, pickaxe a bunch of this, um, this netherrack. I'll see you later, Ezra, okay? Um, I'm gonna go back to the overworld. Good boy. Wow, okay, and I just am still a little creeped out by this. I don't know if the, the glass seems fine. I don't want to wait to see if the fence is not fine and the gas could see me because that would be tragic um okay let's shut the door basil you will never guess ezra is the best um this is a perfect idea so i'm gonna go home and grab um i i need i need what do i need i need podzel for the mega tiger door i need um ice i need a lot of things so let's go get it oh actually i totally forgot I now can release, finally, Perdita. Perdita, you are free. You can leave if you, okay, you are leaving. Um, you can now leave the Dopgark. I guess you've been here for 300 episodes almost. Uh, Perdita's literally one of the oldest residents in Dogcraft. Oh, and she's going to find Pongo. Okay, so let's get ourselves some materials for this gateway project. Like I said, I wanna get Mesa Clay. Uh, for the tunnel that leads to the mesa. I'm just decorating the tunnel entrance, not like the entire tunnel because it goes on far too long in the nether. Got the podzel. Now, what else did I say I needed? Uh, jungle wood would actually be nice. I've got, I've got nine pieces of jungle wood. Um, I need to get, I, where are the, I need vines. I kind of feel like Basil had vines. That's, I don't know why, but I feel like I remember her pack had, yep, her pack had three vines. Thank you, Basil. Uh, okay, now we just need, I got some other things that I think go with the themes, but I think it's in the, yep, here is the packed ice. Uh, I used that when I made the shower for the dog guard. I just want to check my closet really quick because I'm looking for my silk touch pickaxe. If I'm going to be building with ice, oh, it's not here. I really need a pickaxe with a silk touch enchantment so that the ice doesn't break because you can't even place water in the nether. Will it even, will it melt? Okay, it was in my backpack. We are all good. We have been saved. Let's go ahead now and head back. I feel like none of the dogs are leaving, which is strange. Like, you guys are free to leave now. You can get out of this pen. Well, here's, okay, the gate's open. The gate was open on this side. So, I'm, I mean, I guess I get it. It's like their familiar place. They like the Quonset. You guys are free. You are free to finally roam around Dogcraft. Do whatever you want. Here, the Pastoria is now open. Probably should have checked with Madeline on that. Oh, well. Okay, let's go back into the nether. Um, Basil, you can come if you want, but you probably should just stay. Okay, oh, I thought I saw, what did I, that was a little creeper there. <gasps> oh, hi, zombie pigman, hi. You have spawned in here now. Um, you're not aggroed on me though, which is fine. <gasps> oh, Ezra, whoa, what are you, you're back from the mega tiger? I don't know, what are you doing? It's my skeleton horse, Marilyn from one life Marilyn you made it you made it safe passage through the nether uh, okay so this is awesome I'm gonna add you to yes it's good to see you again Ezra this is my skeleton horse uh, Marilyn who... no oh my gosh stop you can't hit a zombie pigment <gasps> 
You killed a zombie pigman. Oh my gosh, you killed a zombie pigman. Oh my gosh, are they aggroed on me? They're gonna be aggroed on all of us now. If they spawn, whoa. Um. Okay, I don't see any others. Ezra, we don't, we don't kill the zombie pigmen. Oh my gosh. Okay, I guess I don't know what you history you have with zombie pigmen from the time that you've been in the Nether, but they're supposed to be. I don't. Do, are they attacking the dogs? That would make sense then. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna go back through the Nether and open. Actually, let me open all of these doors because I have taken a horse through another portal before and it did not end well when there are blocks on the other side. So I want to actually make sure that just both of these doors are open. It should be safe to bring Marilyn through the portal now uh, and she shouldn't take any damage. Oh my gosh, Ezra. I mean, I guess this is all I've wa ever wanted though, is like a fierce protector of the dogs helping me to run dog craft. Um, I, I don't know, maybe he was protecting his dog, good boy. Uh, Marilyn? Oh, good. Oh my goodness, my skeleton horse. I am going to take you. Um, this is dog craft. You are going to love it here, I promise. That's Azure, that's a doc. That's the doctor if you ever need to be healed. I am going to take you up to where I keep my horses. I don't have a lot of horses in Dogcraft. I have never found, well, I've never really found that many. Uh, I think I found one plains once, um, but I have a couple and I have some unusual horses too, which I think you will like. So we've got the donkey Joey over there and Cinnamon Toast. They're kind of the oldest residents. Chocolate Chip, uh, who we got recently. Uh, Mace of the Mule, rest in peace molasses. This is asparagus though, my zombie horse. And I think that you're gonna have the most in common with asparagus, asparagus in Maryland. I ship it. You guys are walking away from each other, that's cool. Anyway, um, I'm gonna come back, probably not until the next episode, and I will name tag you, and put uh, like a sign on your stall, and you will just be all set in dog craft. Uh, okay, well have a good night, Marilyn. It is getting crazy late, let's go back to the, the shelter. Okay, let's come back into the nether, and make sure, oh, let me kill this zombie first. Basil! Feel free to kill a zombie. Oh, Ezra, you're back. Um, okay, so I kind of feel like we should maybe stay out of the nether for like a little bit because you killed a pigman. Um, but we can build in it tomorrow. I'm really excited about it actually, but the moon is going down and I want to go to bed. So we should build um, in the next episode. We'll build the tunnels together. Thank you so much for everything that you did. And yes, oh, <laughs> you're so sweet. Thank you, Ezra. I will see you later. And um, I'm gonna go sleep in my bed, I guess. This was, this was an eventful episode 300. And I'm excited to build in the nether. Like it's, oh, whoa, hey, what, your eyes are creepy. Oh, thank you, Basil. Finally, you, uh, <laughs> your instincts kicked in. Uh, how about for the skeleton, Basil? Can you do the skeleton too? Oh, okay, you're fast. Yep, oh, no, oh, you got it. Anyway, I guess, I don't know. I guess I never thought about building in the nether. It sort of seems like it's wrong, in a sense, to build in the nether, but there's no rules against it. All right, well, I'm gonna sleep before the sun totally goes down. Oh, look, it's sunrise. Oh, but thank you guys for watching this episode of Dogcraft. I will see you in the next episode when we build in the new nether. But until then, Paige and Molly love you. Go rescue a dog. <sighs> Building in the nether, what could go wrong? <laughs>